Hey everybody, it's Odd Dustin. Welcome back into the Mosh Pit. We're talking about Grime, and I wanted to go over the weapons that were in the demo that they released in June of 2021, not July. <laughs> June of 2021. And there's four weapons that I could find in the demo, and all of them are pretty different, so they gave you a good variety to mess around with in the demo. And I wanted to go over their moves and some of the benefits that they have uh, on their stats. The first one we have is the Maul Axe. Uh, the current weapon power is 26. Speed is fast. It does hit pretty fast. And it's C scaling on both strength and dex. Um, you can see a plus two on this because I have plus two on this build towards dex. Uh, but it also has a resonance scaling of E. So I don't think that it's great on any of them. It's kind of a, just a, a good starter weapon. It is the first one that you get in the demo. And I like the moveset. It says special attack can shift its fingers into the shape of an axe, dealing increased damage with increased staggering power to prey. A still hand uprooted from the ground and turned into a weapon by someone persistent. So um, it does have uh, the special move, the kind of heavy attack is that it turns into more of an axe, kind of opens up and it does do pretty good damage. Uh, for a weapon that isn't necessarily a heavy weapon. It has a little bit of a swipe, kind of a swipe, swipe, slash down that it can do. It's fast enough, but not super fast, where the heavy damage that it deals, it's a great finisher, so I like to do a heavy hit on an enemy that maybe needs a little bit more, and then hit him with uh, one or two of the faster hits. And it's a pretty decent all-around starter weapon, I think, to kind of get you through some of the uh, easier stuff in the game uh, right off the bat. Uh, all of the weapons have a different move set when you jump up in the air and slam it down um, that are different than their heavy attack, but each one of them has some kind of like downward slash. The next weapon you can find in the game is the Finger Blade. This one you get from killing a guy who's sad and crying. <laughs> you kill him and you can get the finger blade. Uh, it says the weapon power is 17. It is also a fast weapon, but it is a B scaling on the resonance. So if you pump a bunch of resonance in there and possibly get more fingers shooting out of it, uh, it is a C class on decks for scaling. So not too bad if you're a dex build, um, but better if you're doing resonance. It says each swing breaks a large finger off from the blade, launching it forward. Special attack causes multiple fingers to break off and launch a short distance behind the target. So it goes past who you're trying to hit and hits somebody off in the distance, which can be a plus and a negative. A mass of fingers collected and set alongside one another. Impractical, but not all creations are made as such. Now this one has a similar swipe attacks or uh, is the other axe, but it just sli it's just swiping. It doesn't do a hammer down kind of thing until you jump up in the air and slam it down. Uh, the heavy attack is more of a uh, more of a build up where it kind of it just is a little bit slower, but does a little bit more damage. And uh, in this video, you can't really see it unless there's enemies around, but it will throw fingers off like projectiles from the attacks. Uh, that will land on other people um, either in front of you or past them if you do a heavy attack. Next weapon we have is the Twin Fangs. Weapon power is 15. This is very fast. Now this is a true dex weapon. It's got a B scaling and it only does dexterity scaling. It's very fast. Uh, the problem I find with it if you're fighting something like the spike guys that crawl real slow is that it doesn't do enough damage um, without you getting hit by that thing. So it's it's definitely a matter of getting your opportunities where you can get it with this weapon. Um, special attack is like a leap forward that does damage dealing. It's kind of a spin around leap. And it says, fangs taken from elsewhere, chiseled and sharpened by a careful artisan. And this attack is kind of a, a swipe with both of them and then a stab. So a swipe, swipe, stab is the regular attack. And then the heavy attack is kind of a swirly spin with a sw with a slash. Um, it's it's fun to use these, but I, I didn't find them as good as the finger blades. I think they do a lot of damage for an enemy that you've stunned 
uh, or the one that's not hitting you back very fast. But if you have something that has a quick recovery, um, you got to really know how to dodge. It doesn't take a whole lot of your stamina when using it. So you just, if you manage the stamina and dodge, um, you can really punish people with those weapons. And the last weapon that you can find in the game is called the Bellow Mace. This one has a weapon power of 50. It's slow, it actually says very slow. It has descaling on resonance, so you will get some benefit from the resonance, but it's more of a strength weapon. But it's only a C-class uh, scaling strength weapon. I had wished that they'd put at least a B-class strength weapon, but since it has weapon power of 50, it does do heavy damage. Um, the special attack is deals heavy damage with an increased staggering power to prey. It also opens its mouth and kind of bellows. Put together by an amateur with a strong aversion to mouths. <laughs> Somebody hates mouths and they put this weapon together. Um, and it kind of makes a yell when it, uh, when it, when you do the heavy attack. It's not super obvious, especially if you're fighting a boss, which is the only place I tried to really use it was against the boss. Uh, the boss was already making enough noise that I didn't really notice that it was yelling until I came up here to this little spot where uh, I could uh, try it out for this video. And it uh, has like a heavy attack that has a yell. Attack is really slow and it takes a lot of stamina. You can get about two attacks in uh, unless you really bump up your stamina. Um, so if you're going with a heavy build, you're probably going to want to do strength and stamina. Uh, about three regular attacks, two heavy attacks, uh, with the stamina that I currently have uh, at this point. But you can see with the heavy attack, you kind of the mouth opens up and it screams out a little bit when you're doing it. The downward attack is unique in its animation, but pretty much the same effect as all the other weapons in their downward. Because it'll just smash anybody that you land on. And that's it for the starter weapons for Grime. I don't know if you had a chance to play the demo like I did, but I really enjoyed uh, trying out these different weapons. I played through it a few times, trying to get different builds, bump up uh, points into all the different main weapon scaling attributes to see the kinds of differences. I didn't really notice much of a difference between strength and dex, depending on the weapon choice. So if I went like strength, that was good for the strength weapons. If I went dex, it was good for the dex weapons. So I mean, there wasn't a whole lot of, oh man, Dex is way better. I enjoyed playing Dexterity a little bit better, which is unique because usually I will play a strength uh, class in a Souls game. Strength and he big heavy weapons are kind of my big favorite thing to do in a Souls game. But I, uh, I really enjoyed the faster nature of the Dexterity weapons and uh, just had more success with those. But uh, yeah, that's all the weapons for Grime that we know of so far for this demo. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you're into Souls likes or any other kind of games that are uh, a little bit darker in nature, go ahead and follow this channel. I try to follow and uh, keep up with all kinds of different games, but mostly that kind of stuff. And uh, like this video if you could, and I will see you in the next one.